Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. My name is Bogdan and I'm doing a Q&A review on my 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E. questions that I was asked is, where are you from? How did you come to America? Well, originally I'm from Russia, but I came to America when I was 10 years old, so that was about 11 years ago. So the second question is, how did you get into cars? Well, it all started with Hot Wheels, just like any other car guy, and just being inspired by the Fast and Furious movies, or Tokyo Drift, for example, that's like one of my most favorite ones. Other ones are garbage. The third question they asked me, what are your goals in life? And this is a pretty big subject because I have a lot of goals and dreams I'm currently pursuing. And uh, I guess some of the most important things are trying to live a comfortable life to where I can enjoy it and have a lot of free time to spend it with my friends, family, and cars obviously. And try to build as many cars as possible because I genuinely enjoy building cars like these and just cruising downtown and creating reactions from people because it makes them happy seeing, you know, stance cars, for example. Someone said, I'll not swap the Miata. That is so not happening today. I'll not swap anything. I'm probably going to it. So, someone asked me, favorite local build outside of yours? And to be honest, I probably have one of the only stance cars in my town, unfortunately. And uh, to go kind of wider on the location, I would probably say, uh, Joe Somers uh, Volkswagen they used to have, the uh, black and gold one. I'll post a picture of here somewhere, right here, right here, I don't fucking know. Uh, that was probably one of my favorite builds and one of the first cars that I saw at a car show when I first got into cars. Or my first car show that I went with this car, and that's where we met. Next question is How long have you had the Mercedes? And is the current setup something you had planned for it since the start? Well, I've had the Mercedes for two and a half years now, and my original goal with the car was to restore it to its original form. Put OEM Mercedes wheels, restore all the cracked plastic, all the tubes, hoses, you know, tear and trim pieces. But after working on it for a lot of months, I started seeing more and more Mercedes start stands, especially in Europe, because that's where they came from. I decided to start my own stance journey. So I started with coils and then shocks and then bags. Next question I was asked is, what's up with the Panther white body? Well, it's a long process, not only is it money and time, because after we're building my VSKFs to a uh, bigger spec, so they'll probably be about 13 wide in the bag, maybe like 15 wide in the bag, just an approximate measurement. And uh, I also got to buy a welder to weld my arches once I do start cutting up the and floor panels. And uh, two weeks ago, I started cutting up my Miata body for flares because it's a drip car. And my wheels kind of stick out, so to go as slow as possible, I have to cut my body. Because a couple things I got to do for the wide body I have to um, order new lips, get a welder. Get my wide body painted, which won't be cheap because paint's expensive. And some of you don't realize that, especially when you go to body shops and ask them to do a cheap paint job. I probably wouldn't do that because paint material and labor, that's really expensive. Since I've been working in the auto body industry and I went to college for closure repair, I know a thing or two about that. Some of you are interested more about how I got the car, when I got the car, why I got the car. Uh, my buddy uh, Craig wrote an article about me on ECS Tuning, which I'll put down in the description so you guys can check it out. 
pretty much explains the journey that I took with this car and uh, how I grew as a person, really. Because the main reason why I got into cars the time I did was because of my ex. She was a very narcissistic and controlling bitch. And uh, she wouldn't allow me to work in my cars when we were dating. So as soon as I broke up with her, a few weeks later, I got this car. Which is probably one of the best decisions I've made my whole entire life. So if you have a controlling girlfriend, fucking dump her. Okay, that whole car run down on the score. I've got some 17 inch VSKFs. I know I'm not giving you my specs on this from PayPal me. Uh, which I've imported from Tokyo. Uh, that came stock spec welded, which I had to split apart, rebuild. Wheels were really rusted. They were in a very rough shape, so I ended up polishing them up and pretty much restoring them to the original shape. Completely in love with these wheels, and these are my first three-piece wheels, which I highly recommend uh, not buying rep wheels and just getting some real wheels by saving up. Next up is a 3P L Performance Air Suspension, which I have a belt trunk set up. I've got belt wooden floor mats, a built VIP table that I've made myself. There's a lot more to this car than just suspension and wheels. Uh, I have a bunch of interior pieces I've replaced and restored, engine bay, a bunch of shit when I got the car and it ran really rough. So I've ended up restoring the engine bay to its original floor. That was my main goal with this car. And uh, a lot of OEM parts were replaced as far as seals, uh, broken trunk pieces, and stuff like that. So it's not just wheels, it's suspension. And uh, I believe the car sat outside for a year or two uh, before I got it from a previous owner. And uh, if you were to rub your hand on top of the paint, it was like sandpaper pretty much. So I played the whole car. And I believe that took me about six hours to do, but it was definitely worth it. So thank you for tuning in with me guys, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.